going to weed out a few brands, you know, the ones that can survive, the ones that really know what they're doing, the ones that have like legs like behind you know, to the product. Um, of course, I don't want anyone to to fall by the wayside. Oh, of course not. There's room for all of us, and that's that's one of my like philosophies. I mean, I don't care if a competitor opens up. It's like you know, there's not really anyone that does exactly what we do at Spurs. So you, I think there's room for us all. You know, I've always been that way. You know, even when I was working at Ralph Lauren, and one of my best friends became like the head of mentor at Tom Ford. You know, there's room for us all. Cool. Some people don't see it that way, but but you I, do. I do, you do. do. So that's that's a lot. That says a lot about you. So, so what are we, what, what are the key people? What are you what are you really feeling like? If you had to narrow it down, because it's a great collection. Uh, my my readers, uh, the people that follow me and look at your stuff, have seen the whole collection. I guarantee you that. So what do you think? Like if you had to pick like some really quintessential pieces, we know your knitwear is fabulous. And we know your denim, so let's let's get into something else. Well, I mean, the, the next was the next step from that, which I think you've actually carried. Um, so we won't touch on it too long. Is obviously the Pico. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, this is a style that you know we've run actually for a few seasons because it's been so good for us. Um, it's a ten-button Pico made in Italy. Um, it's wool cashmere and gore, completely uh, unlined with bound seams. Um, real horn buttons and it's basically you know just the the perfect pea coat i mean you can see there's no kind of bells and whistles on this it's it's simply it is what it is um, it's got a little bit of natural stretch in the fabric but you know you're you're, you're buying this as an investment piece and i guess spur is, is somewhat of an investment brand um you know you know what you're getting when you're buying a mercedes or a, or a bmw you know and it's gonna last you or it should last you that's kind of where we see Spur, you know, the, the equivalent. Um, new, new for this season, we did um, uh, an officer's coat, which is, uh, this is a all cashmere diagonal twill. Um, this is actually made in my suit factory, so this has a full canvas underneath here in, in the, the components of the chest. Um, also has like the working surgeon's cuff. Um, so th these are two kind of great pieces. I mean, we, we have become known for that kind of sartorial, I don't want to say skinny, but like slim black suit mixed with that kind of rock and roll, edgy look. Um, I wish there was this, this piece in, uh, in black, but this was, this was one style that kind of we did for, you know, obviously for the, for the presentation. Had a lot of reference points about it being Michael Jackson. <laughs> <I'm Thriller. laughs> it's fair enough. I understand. Um, we also did it in black, but I didn't show it in black because you wanted it to pop. You well, wanted the color. I mean, as you can see, the way no, the, the way we, the way we hang the line is it's very kind of black at the color segment. Why it's gray? It's very kind of. And I learned really that from Eddie when I was at Saint Laurent. It's like that's the way he used to merchandise the collection and things like that. And it's something that I've just really kind of embraced. So, um, you know, obviously this, this panel's a little bit, can be a little bit much, but if, you, if you're not into it... You just take you know, it off. You just take it off, and it becomes a little bit more of a wearable <laughs> jacket. Right. So now, are you going to be wearing one of these? Uh, will you be... I, I, I mean, I would. To be, honest, to be honest with you, everything in the collection, I would wear. See? That's what I was telling mm -hmm. you. Know, Simon is and, a representation of um, the collection. You know, I'm I'm lucky that I can. Then I can wear a lot of. Well, I've been going to the gym. Shit, sure, I need to go to the gym. Too. I'm 35 next month. You know, hey, I man, have to. I uh, have to. You so I have to. So good. You want to keep it. I hear you. Position, right? Right. No, absolutely. Um. So you'll start to see. I didn't show this at the presentation. The one I'd love to show you is the grey flannel version, but. Um, Double-breasted, which you'll see from the you know, Pico and the officer's coat, and even this this component here, this this idea of protection, um, I guess was a kind of a theme that that some of the editors drew from the the presentations. Um, Double-breasted jacket or suit has uh, historically been kind of 
associated with Wall Street guys or little, you know, your dad or your grandfather, kind of little kind of stuffy business like. Yeah. Um, but I think it's time for for the for our generation to embrace the double breasted again. The way I styled it without like a tie with the shirt done up was it was a little bit more kind of like. 70s Saint Laurent, kind of a little bit more bohemian. I think you can wear the jacket with a grey flannel jacket with a pair of like jeans, like white or black jeans, kind of break it down a little bit. So, um, obviously, we sell these these components together. When you go into the store, you can buy them as jacket or pants so that you can sell them apart because invariably you don't want to wear them. We don't have that many occasions where we all go out like dressed in a suit head to toe, you know, no. on the day. So this was a great start for us this season. Um, obviously, you know, with the resurgence of like brands like Montclair, etc., etc., like Puffco is is a um, big thing right now. And obviously, living in New York City where it gets damn cold, it does. It's kind cold. of a prerequisite. So it's like, how do you do like a puffer jacket in a spur, a spur way? Um, so here, I wanted to do it like very kind of clean, modern. Um, you know, it's got a very, it's got a high armhole, slim sleeve. I personally wear a lot of layering, so like I would put this underneath my pico. Um, the pico gives a little bit. This is real goose down in here, so again. So you're gonna be warm and warm. Yeah, we're not we're not skimping on any kind of um, fillers, fillers or anything like that. It's li it's self lined. This is like Japanese nylon. A little bit of a technical pocket inside. Nice, that's cool. Sleeve zip off. And you know, it's just the, the way it's the way it's cut is just is very just young and modern. You know? Yeah, it looks great on you. Yeah. What size is that? Thirty-eight. Yeah. Getting bigger. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, that's good. Though. Yeah, it looks good on you. But you know, I'm like thirty-eight, forty chest now. So yeah. Getting a bit bigger. <laughs> Going to the gym. <laughs> Trying. I got a wedding coming up. So I know. Everybody, congratulate. Simon's getting married soon. Thank you. And then, um, you know, obviously the, sh the shirts are great. One of, one of the key things that we do, um, sorry, this is impressed, but. It's okay. You'll see is we do like a, this split back yoke here, which is a little bit more of a formal detail, but it, it gives you a really clean line here on the front of the yoke, which subconsciously, when you're doing your tie or whatever, it's, it's just, it really kind of like sets off the look. A lot of what's, what we do with spur is like, you know, it's the subtle details, the fact that we use like a really thick, not too thick, but like um, real mother of pearl button. So when you're putting it on, you're really kind of feeling the quality. Um, you know, the, the, the way it's made on the inside, like this um, really fine French needle seam. These are all the things that I guess if you, if you take care and you learn, you study product, um, you recognize. I mean, at the end of the day, when we sell the line, we, st we started the company with like, okay, the denim will be sold with other product categories, but if like a guy, a, a, a denim expert from Japan came and looked at the, the jean, you know, it might not be the most exquisite jean, but it, it can hold its own. Sure, of Do you course. know what I mean? No, I, like I, I know. The details yeah, of sale, which are on the back, in the back belt loop, or, you know, inside, or the lined pockets, the, the authentic American details actually. Um, you know, because obviously there's a, there's a big thing of, um, you know, Japanese denim versus American Absolutely. denim. Absolutely. And you know, well, the Japanese looms came from America. They were converted obviously to be a little bit more precise. The American looms, there's a motor that pushes it down, but it bounces up. So it, it creates what's called chatter. Then obviously you know the, <laughs> you know. So, uh, but if the suits are like sold in the suit department, the shirts in the shirt department, let's say everything is like extrapolated, yeah. divided, we wanted everything to be of a certain caliber that it could stand alone by itself and hold up against like the brands that do those specific products. So if, you, if this is next to a London shirt or... Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, yeah. you or whoever, I mean, your jeans are sitting next to like a samurai.